Hi, I'm Wendy Garrison, an Associate Professor of Nursing at Delgado Community College Charity School of Nursing. I'd like to welcome you back to a new semester. As part of the Faculty Evaluation and Improvement of Instruction Committee, I'd like to welcome you to another year and want to give you some helpful hints and share with you that it's never too early to be thinking about your promotion at Delgado, whether you're seasoned faculty or whether you're brand new. Some very important information I'd like to share with you is that at convocation, be sure to stop by the promotion portfolio table. Committee members will be there with their sample portfolios, happy to answer any and all questions that you have. You can also sign up that tape at, on, on that day at the table for a promotion workshop that will be coming soon to your DCC location, where you can bring in all your work and seasoned members that have been through portfolios, um, development and promotions will be happy to help you develop yours. In an effort to bring you along, let's look at some sample pages of your portfolio. First, you're going to need a title page, your name, your credentials, the application of the promotion that you are seeking, and the years of review that you are submitting for the reviewers. The promotion portfolio um, routing sheet tells you exactly what you need from the title page to the table of contents to the verification of eligibility form to your verification of documentation and so on. This is my particular portfolio method and I utilize tabs. For the eight areas of the table of contents I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and you'll notice um, in some upcoming slides, some more specifics about that. But the tabs are very helpful. And in, because of this, the DCC members, literally, that are reviewing your portfolio, want this to be very reader friendly. They want to be able to find what they're looking for just with the flick of a page. Again, the first page of your portfolio will be your title page with your name, credentials, and again, the, the rank that you are submitting for and the years involved. Table of contents. Again, that's going to be your second page of your portfolio. Notice how I did my tabs. And again, this may be overkill. Um, some people certainly can do it differently. But when you do get to the three key areas, which are going to be under tabs 6, 7, and 8, that's your service to the students, teaching and related activities, and professional service and development, notice that I separated mine out by years. You don't have to do that, but it's just, just a thought. Again, here is the verification of eligibility form. Very important. So especially for you new employees, your date of hire is a very important date, and this is an important document that you need to keep under lock and key. You don't want to lose this piece of paper because it shows when you were hired or when you were last promoted and indeed when you are eligible for your next promotion. Of course, part of the evaluation process is our supervisor eval summaries. You're going to need to include these from the previous three or four years of work. And we're always rooting for that four or a five on the rating scale. You're also going to need your preliminary evaluation agreements from your annual evaluations, which show your annual goals for the three related areas, teaching and related activities, your service to students, division or college, and your professional service and development. Here's an example of the service to students, how I um, exemplified how, how I documented it. I broke it out by semesters, but again, Everyone's flexible. You'll speak to several different faculty members on how they did it, but all the committee members will be happy to share this with you. Here's another example of um, one of the portfolio pages and how I separated out what I did by semester. And here's an example of some of the things that I covered under professional service and development. That's one great thing about Delgado Community College. They're always providing their employees with the opportunity to attend continuation, continuing education um, workshops and get CE credit. Here's just one example of a certificate received from one of the many DCC offerings. 
be sure to include any certifications um, that you hold or any special licensing. Of course, as an associate professor of nursing, I have to withhold my BLS credentials as well as my advanced cardiac life support. In addition, I'm also certified as a critical care nurse, so I always include my member cards in my portfolio. And here it is, the big prize, the portfolio, which contains all of the hard work that you've done over the last three or four years. You want to submit this to your colleagues at Delgado for review so that they can easily peruse the contents and promote you that much deserved um, promotion. So on behalf of all of us at the Faculty Evaluation and Improvement of Instruction Committee, I wish the very best for a great semester for you. May all your evaluations be positive, and may all your promotion wishes be granted. Have a great semester.